Hello and welcome to your next flipped classroom. We've got uh, a real treat here. When you start the distributed code, you will get this layout and it's just blank, it just says fragment. But if you take a look at the layout, this thing is uh, hiding in there. And first thing you want to do when you um, take a look at this is to get into main activity and figure out how you can hook up your layout that um, What's a, what's a, oh, look at that layout. That looks familiar. So list image fragment, let's see how we can get that cooking in main activity. And once you do that, you will get this and we can interact with this. So first of all, it says take a picture. And if you click that, you get a toast that says no, no picture taking <laughs> uh, in this exercise. Um, that is for somewhat complicated reasons. I used to take a picture, but uh, the way that is done has gotten a little more complicated, so we're not going to do it. Uh, what I do want you to notice is if I click on any of these guys, I click on Rorschach, and then I click on him again, he goes away. I click on Tongue Boy, maybe Tongue Girl, and uh, uh, I hear him hitting back, and it goes away. So any of these can take over the screen, and then uh, if you see, I've got, uh, the, the tongue and the eyes are the, the next two. So if I long click on Rorschach, tongue and eyes, Rorschach's on the bottom. This is known as a rotation and it actually happens if I long click on any of them, uh, they're, they're being rotated. Does that make sense? So you have to implement that. You have to implement this clicky thing. And, uh, and that's it, the, the toast I give you. Um, I might reuse this in a future flip classroom and actually do uh, reinstate the picture taking, but that's an issue for another day. So let's take a quick look at the code because stuff here is a little, there's some, some new stuff. So you got to write this main activity, get stuff hooked up and, you know, take a look through these layouts in terms of what's going on. Nothing super crazy. This is a frame layout. So that gives you some idea that we're dealing with fragments, main activity, list photo fragment. Um, you're going to have to write this, how to make the image clickable, which is how it takes over the screen. And, uh, you have to do some of that stuff. This is the picture button and, I am uh, sending a toast here. Uh, this, of course, is making sure that the activity is not null. And if it's not null, then uh, I'm calling this toast because this uh, context can't be null. All of these images are from the XML. And I put them in a list. And then I have to do some stuff. And I, I'm using a for each loop because that's very Kotlin-y rather than a for loop. So I encourage you to do that. You're going to be calling make image clickable. You, know, you can read the documentation. Finally, there's image fragment, which is sort of mostly done. Got a couple of one-liners to write in here. And then I wanted to take a quick look at this. So what you're supposed to do with fragments is you are supposed to have a constructor with zero parameters, and then you are supposed to have a static new instance method. It's called a factory method because it creates new instances, but it's not a constructor. It returns uh, an instance of the class. Why is this? Is uh, They get into it in this stack overflow. Basically, it's a lifetime issue. Just as the um, framework can kill your activity at any point, it can also kill your fragment at any point. The thing is, we never create our own activities. Those are created for us by the framework, but we do create activities. Sorry, we do create fragments. And if you create fragments, uh, if the uh, framework then kills it, it doesn't know how to recreate the arguments to that fragment. So whenever you want to create a fragment, we're going to say, okay, you know what, before we actually call the uh, fragment constructor, we're going to also add a bundle and attach that 
uh, to this uh, arguments um, sort of storage that's part of the fragment class. And that way, if we have to kill the fragment, we can always call the constructor of no arguments, and then the constructor can figure out what the arguments were because we, we put them in this bundle for it. So that's a, yeah, it's a lifetime issue. Okay, good luck with the flip classroom. Bye.